hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is summer um, so in today's video i wanted to just um quickly talk about the you know the death of uh, um bushiri's daughter and um, some of you may not have known that i shared about it on my community page because i keep getting comments on my videos people are like oh did you know that this happened did you know that you know it basically means that these people did not know already shared about it i initially didn't want to make a video about it but i decided to make a video because there's something i want to address about it and i'm actually going to let you guys listen to bushiri himself but before that let me just tell you guys how i got to know about it i was just eating sitting down at the dining table i was eating and i was just kind of looking through facebook while i was eating and then i saw a post i remember screaming because i you know i knew she was unwell but i don't know why but a part of me felt like oh she'll be honestly part of me felt like, oh she'll be fine you know they can afford the best health care and all of those things oh she'll be fine and um you know but i'm gonna be honest i screamed like when i screamed i screamed so loud my whole family ran over to come and find out what was going on because i was really i was in shock it, I, you know let's be you know i want to say this right at the end of the day I'm, I'm making this video because of those people that feel like because of the stories or the issues going on with um with bushiri that this is something to laugh about i i'm just gonna say no you don't laugh about something like this you know before i say anything else i actually let you guys listen to him god bless you for standing with us and praying for us it is of a great sadness that I announced to you the passing on of my daughter Israela um, as a father it was my desire to see her growing and living to fulfill the purpose that the Lord had called her for Israela was born during the time when myself and my wife we are going through a lot of persecution. She has grown knowing nothing but the labor and the fight and the pain as palace have been through in the course of saving God. And not just a child, but she was someone who had given her life to Jesus Christ as her Lord and her personal Savior. Israel was a young girl who loved worship and serving God. It is important to notice that we as a church, uh, as well as parents, did our part. We prayed, we fasted, we declared, and sought God to saving her life. But we believe that God's will is sovereign and we bow to his purpose and to his will and we believe that the devil has no power over god's children and we believe that this could not be the will of the devil but it is the will of god and we bow to that sovereignty of god and say let his will be done we are a church that believe in miracles that believe in healing and I believe that Jesus Christ is the healer. One asked me a question and said, do you still believe in God? And my answer was so simple. I will believe him even more after this. I, I will believe in, in him more than I've ever believed. I still believe that God, he is the same God who was, who is, and who is to come. I believe as well that it is his will that we are alive, and that one must not live a lot of years for him to know that God loves them. But it is about fulfilling what we were called for. Jesus died at the age of 33. He was so young. It was not about how old he died. But it was about he fulfilled what he had come on earth to do. Having said that, I'd like also to say I believe with all my heart that Israel has fulfilled the work she was sent to do in this world. The ministry of Israel was unique in that it ministered to me personally and my wife as prophets in all the moments we went through 
persecution. She was our encouragement and nothing less. She was someone who accepted that she would live a life seeing her parents passing through persecution and all the tests that we went through and she became nothing but an encouragement. I would like to take you into faith. As I did mention earlier that we have faith in God and we believe in miracles and we believe in God but above everything we believe in his will. We believe that Jesus Christ has a final say on every situation. We wish we reversed this. It's unfortunate that our child, when she wanted to go and have a medical attention in Kenya, she, she was blocked right at the airport and she couldn't have access to quick medical attention. And it's sad to hear the doctor's report that if she had gone earlier, she wouldn't have died. She became a victim of all the persecutions we have been going through from South Africa. However, we believe that if it was God's time and God's will, this was supposed to happen in this way. God would call anyone at any time, at any place, through any means. We believe that she is singing with a sense in heaven and that she's with angels and she's with God. And because of that, I am calling all my leaders across the world of the Latin Christian Gathering Church, all of our us, all those who stand with us, who love us, and everyone else across the world, that we will not have sorrow around the passing on of Israel. Rather, we will have three days of celebrating and worshiping God for the life of Israel. We will not mourn. We will celebrate the life of a great prophetess. She lived to be our prophetess and minister to us personally and forever we shall remember her. And as we praise God and rejoice and celebrate her life, we will stand in worship for the next three days, giving God all the glory and all the praise for her life. May God bless you all. Shalom. I want to make this video to say that regardless, regardless of whatever, you know, the accusations about Bushiri, I am not a fan of Bushiri. A lot of you must have, a lot of you may have watched my videos, but let's not forget that at the end of the day, you know, that is an innocent child, okay? That is an innocent child. That child is not Bushiri is not the one you have your grievances against. Not responsible for the actions or whatever that um, Bushiri is being hated for or that you dislike, it. the reasons why you dislike Bushiri, the reasons why South Africa is looking for Bushiri, of all of those things, that is an innocent child. And, you know, I'm surprised when I see comments of, you know, even all over Facebook, people are saying, oh, it's karma. So, so people laughing about it, we're seeing it like, oh, he deserved this and all of those things. But remember that there's an innocent child involved. Let's not forget that aspect. I'm going to be honest that when I when I saw that news, I was in shock. And I, be honest, I was saying to myself, look, I was, maybe I can use the word angry. And I was like, oh, but he should have stayed in South Africa. Like, if he had stayed in South Africa, the child would be fine. And Because I'm thinking to myself that, you know, because, you know, a lot of us in Nigeria would know that a lot of Nigerians actually go to South Africa for healthcare. And from what we've heard, their healthcare system is amazing. That's what we've heard. You know, the healthcare system is very good. The standard is very high. That's why a lot of Nigerian rich people actually go to South Africa for, for treatment. So we know that uh, is being said the South African health system is amazing and they've lived in South Africa all these years so it's possible that the health system was so good and has been good for this girl's health and then now they went to Malawi uh, for whatever reason you know maybe the health system there was not equipped enough or whatever to save the child and be honest that when I heard the news I was like angry and saying he should have stayed in South Africa she would be alive he was if he was in South Africa all of those things the innocent child had to die because the father left South Africa for anybody that does actually not know some people have asked me who is Bushiri Bushiri is a pastor or church leader whatever you want to call him um, he's from Malawi he was living in South Africa and he and he became very rich in South Africa very wealthy in South Africa and all of that and um, what's it called he 
basically there was a kind of a scheme a money scheme that allegedly that he did where i think you kind of invest in it and then you get your money you get your money back doubled or stuff like that and then eventually they said this is the allegations is that a lot of people put their money in and they never got their money and then the south african government got involved and then he he got arrested him and his wife and they were locked up for a long time and then they had a court hearing they were granted bail eventually but when they were granted bail they skipped bail and ran back to their home country which is malawi but then what happened was that while they were in malawi the child was unwell and then he tried to send his child out of malawi to, to go get the medical treatment abroad the truth again is that a lot of people thought he was trying to run away again because at the moment uh, malawi is in the process of he doing their hearings their court hearings going on at the moment to decide if to extradite him to back to south africa to go and face the charges in south africa something else that is that before he left south africa basically what happened was that he first sent his children he has two daughters he first sent them out of um, south africa it was after the children went out of south africa to malawi him and his wife then escaped so then when the child was unwell it was reported that that he tried to send his children out of south africa another conflict there is that they said he was trying to send out the two children out of south africa with their grandmother and um, people were like okay they suspected he was trying to run away again because okay if the child was unwell why was he sending away two of the children if why didn't he send away the one child that is unwell but eventually from what you know we found that is that eventually he was granted permission to take the child abroad for treatment and um for whatever reason, the child was already the worst. I think he he was saying somewhere that um, if this if his child that the doctors told him that if his child had got the medical treatment initially, um, when the child needed it initially, the child would have been fine. But because of the delay, is why he lost his child. Uh, I'm just saying this for those that do not know. So this is what the story is. So coming back to what I'm trying to say in this video is that for me, my my sadness. I'm attaching it to the innocent to an innocent child, to an innocent child that was unwell for such a long time and died. I, and I honestly do not think that it is a good idea to laugh at a situation like this. I do not believe for a second that it's something that is funny or to ridicule somebody about or whatever okay his properties were seized oh yeah you can laugh about that you know and then his cars were allegedly seized and you know the, if his accounts are froze and stuff like that but you say he a child died and somebody think it's funny it's not funny you know it's not it's not funny at all and I don't know the, because at the end of the day these are comments on social media and stuff like that we don't know who is who but I'm just saying that this is not something a Christian should laugh about, you know. And I'm hoping that those of us that are Christian know better that you don't laugh or you don't laugh or celebrate the death of a child for that matter. Like, no, that's not who we are as Christians at all. That's not who we are. And, um, and I'm just gonna, I just w wanted to just quickly make this video because I'm getting comments. Oh, Shama, you know, did you see it? I'm getting messages and comments, and I do, honestly do not know what kind of a video people will expect me to make about it apart from saying that of, apart from saying the fact that is it's sad it's a sad news i'm going to just say it as it is it is a sad news um at the end of the day uh, an innocent child is an innocent child and that's that's it um, and with that i'm just going to say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye